it's Ashley with Plantiful Picnic and I've got three new high protein vegan breakfasts for you. All three of these recipes are very healthy and satisfying and I have a variety of sweet and savory so keep watching to see these three high protein vegan breakfast ideas. And if three breakfast ideas are not enough for you, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below because I have a lot more breakfast recipes coming soon. We will first be making black bean chocolate waffles. These waffles use only simple whole foods and are easy to make and delicious. To a blender, add cooked black beans, plant milk, maple syrup, two ripe bananas, and blend until smooth. To a separate bowl, add whole wheat flour, Sift in some cocoa powder. And add baking powder. Then mix well. Then add the black bean mixture. And mix very well. Once the batter is completely mixed, add in some chocolate chips and stir to combine. The batter will be very thick. Lightly spray your waffle pan with oil, then scoop out spoonfuls of the batter onto the pan. You might need to spread out the batter a bit because it's so thick. Then cook in your waffle maker. Finally, top off your waffles with melted chocolate and berries or any of your other favorite waffle toppings. And enjoy! The next breakfast we'll be making is breakfast burritos with a tofu scramble. To make the tofu scramble, start by crumbling blocks of firm tofu with your hands and add it to a pan. This makes the tofu look a bit more like eggs. Then add some nutritional yeast, salt, turmeric, garlic powder, and plant milk, and mix to combine. Cook on medium heat for a few minutes while stirring throughout. I also added a bit more turmeric and black pepper. Once it's done cooking, add your tofu scrambled to a tortilla and add black beans, cooked potatoes, tomatoes, avocado, and salsa. Then wrap it up and enjoy. Lastly, we are going to make steel cut oatmeal with soy pulp. This is a great way to use up leftover soy pulp from making soy milk. To your Instapot or stove, add steel cut oats, water, ripe bananas, soybean pulp, also called okara, and cinnamon, and then mix together. 
You could also add chia seeds at this point, but I forgot to add them, so I'm gonna add them at the end. Put in your Instapot at high pressure for four minutes. Once it's done cooking, give it a good mixing. I like adding okara to steel cut oats because it matches the texture of the oats very nicely. Then top off your oatmeal with fruit. nuts, chia seeds, or any of your favorite oatmeal toppings, and enjoy. Well, thanks for watching today's video, and if you made any of these recipes, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Plentiful Picnic, and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done that already, and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye!